For first responders around the state, they say caring for others emotionally and physically is their primary job, but their emotions get put on hold while they are working. On the side of the road, in the emergency room, prep to take action. First responders around the state are ready to care for those involved in crashes. It is the worst day of their life. And so they are literally relying on us to be at our absolute best. Sergeant Brian Stolley has been with the La Vista Police Department for 12 years. He says responding to accidents is daily, but detaching emotionally is almost impossible. No matter how desensitized it is to you, you take a little bit of each crash with you. A crash that happened almost eight years ago still pops in his mind. On November 5th, 2010, Amber Wilkins was broadsided in her car when a fully loaded dump truck ran a red light. It was one of those where she was seriously injured. She was unconscious for weeks. You're really serving that person's family in a time that they don't understand what's going on. La Vista police officer Nick Janetti says often the emotions appear without warning. It's nothing that uh, you're ever really prepared to handle. After the incident is done, when we're putting things back together, getting cleaned up, those emotions tend to come back and really hit us. Just like for fire and police, Dr. Lisa Schlitzke says care starts early on. And it starts even from the moment of the person picking up the phone and calling 911 and reporting it. While the years of training prepared her to help someone medically, she says she never prepared for the emotional toll helping would take. Never giving the information that your loved one is deceased is easy ever. First responders agree the best path to continued career success is having someone in their field they can talk to who understands what they are going through. The state back in the mid to late 1980s had established what's called a critical incident stress management program. There are mental health counselors and peers that were trained in how do we diffuse, how do we debrief somebody for a situation like this? This method provides crisis support through peers to try and reduce potential harmful effects from dealing with stressful events. All it involves is talking through the situation. It's amazing how much stress can be relieved by talking about it. We create essentially our own little network of help. Because as experts in care themselves, they make sure to take care of their own. For Safe Roads Now, Alexa Ray, 3 News Now.